Hello and welcome to Home with Sarah Jane. Today I have a quick video about our fall reading challenge. If you are new here, hello and welcome. My name is Sarah and I'm a homeschooling mom to two girls, ages 12 and 15. And if you are a returning subscriber, thank you so much for stopping by once again. I do really appreciate you. So today's quick video is going to be about our fall reading challenge. Now my kids are older. Again, they are 12 and 15. So they are in the seventh and 10th grade. And I do still really enjoy, you know, celebrating the seasons throughout our homeschool or the holidays or anything like that. And we haven't done a a themed reading challenge in a while so I thought that this year would be the perfect year for that so I went to Canva like I always do and I created this form and it has 16 different fall themes on here for their reading challenge now the themes that I chose are pumpkins a turkey apples a scarecrow harvest time a farm pie a squirrel soup gratefulness, leaves, acorns, thanksgiving, family, kindness, and fall. And then on the back of their fall reading challenge page, there is a my fall book titles that they can go ahead and log the titles that they chose for each theme. Now, what I love about something like this is that it is so simple. I will link this one that I made down below if you are interested, if you want to use it this fall. But what I love about this is how simple I'm going to be able to keep this as well. So my kids will just get a form like this and then they will be able to choose whatever book they want from our home library. They can also use the Libby app or anything that we've already purchased on Audible um, for this fall reading challenge. Um, and that is because the books, I'm not going to be limiting them to only fall books, just the theme. And what I mean by that is that when it comes to books about apples, let's just say my kids need to read something about apples to check it off their fall reading challenge. They could read a book like How to Make an Apple Pie and See the World, which is a picture book, or they can read a short chapter book like Who Was Johnny Appleseed? Now, if they wanna read a book about a turkey, they can read The Great Turkey Walk, which is a really fun chapter book, or they can read something like Turkey Trouble, which is a picture book. I am not limiting these books to only being about fall. Again, it's just the fall theme. And I am not going to be limiting the level of the reader either. If my kids want to read all uh, picture books, they can. If they want to read a combination of chapter books and picture books, that's great too. This is just meant to be fun. So and to kind of celebrate fall, it's not meant to be you know, like tacking on more stress and and things like that. It's just, you know, kind of celebrate the season. So I'm keeping it very simple, very straight to the point, And I'm giving my kids a wide range of books to choose from. Again, if they wanted to read something about scarecrows, they can read The Wizard of Oz, which isn't necessarily a fall book, but it does have a scarecrow in it. So that's kind of what I mean by kind of keeping it loose and open. But that is what we are going to be doing for our fall reading challenge. Again, I am keeping it very simple, very straight to the point. And again, there are only 16 books on this challenge. And if they choose all picture books, my kids could read that in like a day if they really wanted to. But it's just about being fun, doing something a little bit different, and celebrating the fall season that is fastly approaching. Another thing that I wanted to mention before I close out this video is that there are no spooky themes on this fall reading challenge. And I did that on purpose because my kids will have the entire fall season to read from the fall reading challenge. But in October, I was thinking about creating a spooky reading challenge as well. Again, because my kids can read pictures books for this challenge. Um, I think that they can handle both of these challenges at the same time. So for the month of October, I was also considering doing, like I was saying, a spooky challenge where they might read books about, you know, witches or, you know, pumpkins still or jack-o'-lanterns or candy, you know, so I am considering doing something like that as well, but just keeping it pretty short, maybe not as many books on that challenge, but we will see. Um, but that is why you're not going to see any spooky themes on my fall reading challenge. And that is because I am creating another <laughs> reading challenge that will have those for the month of October. So that is it for today. When I said I was making a short video today, I actually stuck with a short video, which is very rare for me. But let me know down below, what are your favorite fall books, whether they're picture books, chapter books, kids books, whatever. I 
just love books in general, let me know down below. But that is it for today. If you have any questions, please leave them down below. And as always, thank you so much for stopping by. You have a great day. Bye.